Hi everyone, this is Marek from the Tzatl Show podcasts and videos. In this video I'll be talking about Zotero, uh, which is a tool, a free program for um, storing academic uh, references, so journals, um, articles and books. So it's a program that allows you to store them and also it um, allows you to very easily create citations and a bibliography in the work that you're writing. And it also allows you with one click to download all the information about a given article. So forget about manually putting in the title of the work, the author, the year and all the other details. Zotero does it for you with one click and it saves everything. And so it's also super easy with it to um, change between different um, referencing styles such as Harvard or APA. Um, so I think this video might be very useful for those of you who are teaching um, English for academic purposes and want to show this program to your students. Or if you're a student studying in a university, I think this might be very useful as well. So let's get started. The first thing that you have to do is go to Zotero.org, so the website that you can see here, and you need to download the program. Um, so depending whether you use... Um, the, the Mac or you use Windows, uh, you choose a different download. So I use Windows, so I, was, I would click here on download Zotero for Windows. But if you're on a Mac, then you've got the download here. Um, at the bottom, you've got Mac OS X. And if you're on Linux, they're, they're also um, got uh, programs for the Linux. Um, download that and install it. And once you've installed it on your desktop, um, you should get this icon, Zotero Standalone. And if you open it, this is how it looks. Obviously, it will be empty because you haven't started using it yet, but this is how the program looks. Before we delve a little bit deeper into the program and um, before I explain what it can do and, um, and give you some tips, um, another thing that you want to do is download a browser extension. Because as I said, if you've got this extension, then with just one mouse click, you can download all the information about a given article. So all the information that you need to create a bibliography or to cite that article. And Zotero will do that automatically with one click. So um, depending which browser you prefer, if you're uh, using Chrome, Safari or Firefox, uh, you can download the plugin here. And um, they also include the plugin for Microsoft Word and LibreOffice. Okay, so just download that and uh, install it. And uh, you can also download them here at the bottom for Chrome, Safari and Opera. And then you can extend Zotero for Microsoft Word and LibreOffice. Okay. Um, once you've done that, if you open, I use Google Chrome. So if I open that, um, you should see a, a little sign here. That's the save to Zotero sign. So this sign shows you that you've installed it correctly. And also now if you open Microsoft Word, you open a blank document. Uh, in here, you'll have a Zotero. Um, if you can't see it here, um, then in the add-ins next to it, uh, you should also see um, Zotero. Okay, but you should see it um, here really in your toolbar. There should be a Zotero uh, one. So the first thing that we can do is try and look for an academic article. So let's just uh, search for any book or any article that interests you. And you can either do it through Google or you can go to your library search. So I'll just go to, um, to my library search here uh, from York University. And then I'll just put in teaching English. Maybe teaching English listening, why not? Let's see what comes up. Okay, and let's look at the first paper here. Okay, and once you've got that paper, um, this is actually a book, you can see in here at the top that the icon changed into a book, so Zotero recognizes that it's a book. And now you can save it to Zotero. When you save it, it's going to appear in your program here. But remember, in order to be able to do this, you need to have the program open. 
So first open the program and then you can start saving things. You don't have to do it through the library. If you look on Amazon or Google Books, Zotero will also recognize that it's a book or it's an article and it will save it automatically. So if we look at a one book in here that I've got on my list, for example, Interlanguage by Selinker, uh, you can see all the information here and that was downloaded automatically from Zotero. I didn't put it in. Uh, you can see another one. Um, so all the information necessary to cite the work in your article is here, is saved in Zotero. One thing that you might want to do once your bibliography starts growing is to divide it into different folders, as you can see here. And you can create different folders by clicking here and adding new collection. And you can type in uh, the new collection you want to add. And uh, you can also obviously delete publications. If you press uh, delete, um, then it will put it into, tr into trash. And you can also search here at the top. So um, by title or by the author or by the year, and then you will uh, um, you will get different options. So let's search for Kahru, for example, and then you get all the publications by that um, author. So this is basically basically it. This is your Zotero program. But now let's um, let's look at uh, the plugin in Microsoft Word. Let's see how it works. So um, let's say you're writing and you want to refer to, for example, Selinger. Um, normally, you'd have to put the year manually and kind of remember which year that particular publication was published in, or if not, look it up in your reference list, and that's quite time consuming. And you also have to um, remember about the different uh, types of um, referencing and uh, different uh, referencing styles. But um, if you just want to add it with Zotero, you put add or edit citation. And when you open it for the first time, it asks you to select the citation style that you want. So that depends on your university, really. I use the APA 6 edition. And you just click OK. And then in here, in that toolbar, you can uh, basically search for uh, the publication. So you put in the name of the author, Selinker. And then you've got the, the two publications that I've got saved in my library. So I want to refer to the second one. So I click on that um, and I don't want the author to appear there. So I put suppress author. I could also add page number if I'm quoting, for example. Uh, but in here, I'm not going to add it. And then I just press enter and there you go. It's, it's just there. To give you another example, let's say you wanted to add a citation at the end of the sentence. So let's just say, um, working in pairs is beneficial for communication. Um, I'm not sure who said that, but let's uh, let's assume it's by Selinker. So you want to add the citation at the end here. Again, you press Add Citation, and we're going to search for Selinker. And let's choose the other publication. Why not? Okay. And this time you don't want to suppress the author. And since it's a book, let's maybe add the page number. Let's say it was on page 10, this particular information. Okay, and then you just press enter and there you go. You've got it automatically. But I think the coolest thing is creating the bibliography automatically. Um, so at the end of the text, you can just put a bibliography or reference list or however you want to call it. And then in here, insert bibliography and you've got it automatically. Um, in here, obviously, we've just got two works, so it's pretty easy. But imagine you've got 50, 100 publications, and you need to change the publication, the citation style. That would take you forever. But with Zotero, you just do it with one uh, click, really. So let's go to Document Preferences, and let's change the style to maybe Chicago. Okay, And you click OK. And it automatically changed the style both in the document, the in-text citation, and the bibliography as well. Um, so that's very useful if, let's say, you're resubmitting your article, for example, to another 
uh, journal or you just found out you need to change the citation style for some reason, you can now do it with just one click. And let me also show you how a longer document will look uh, with more Zotero um, citations. So I'll just open uh, part of my um, thesis here. Okay, and maybe I'll click on, on this bit. Right, so if you highlight it like this, you can see that these citations come from Zotero. This is quite useful if, let's say, for some reason you forgot to add it from Zotero and you don't have the, the citations, or maybe some citations are not in the bibliography. So you can, by highlighting the text like this, you can very quickly check if these um, are in the um, bibliography. Um, another thing that you can do when you're citing, notice that in here I've got EG, for example. Um, and of course, I've got several authors, and you can do that as well. If we click on edit the citation, okay, um, you, what you can see here is that I've got the prefix. So if you put that, the uh, whatever you put there is going to appear before the first um, author in that citation. And you could also add a suffix to it, for example, I don't know, amongst others, right? And um, as I said, you can add more than one author if there is more than one person you want to uh, cite in this particular place. So one last thing that I, um, that I wanna show you is that um, Zotero automatically updates the, uh, the reference list or the bibliography. So whenever you're adding a new publication, uh, a new citation to your work, it will be added to uh, the bibliography as well. Um, and also, if you delete something from your article, it will be deleted from uh, the bibliography. So let's uh, delete the first citation from Selinka okay? and click on refresh. That disappeared. And if we add another citation, um, let's say we look for Kahru, okay, and we add this for example. Okay, it's automatically added to the um, to the reference list. Um, sometimes you might need to click on refresh if it's not added automatically, but uh, it will be added pretty quickly. So that's about it. I think very simple to use and free as well. Uh, for me, I think the coolest feature is the is the browser extension, really, that with one click, you can just download all the information about that publication and uh, store it here in your, in your database. And you've got it for uh, your future articles as well. You can divide it into different topics. And I think um, the way you can just sim very simply add and edit citations and bibliography, I also think it's class. So perhaps... Uh, the, the, the looks are not the most modern in Zotero, perhaps they could improve that, the interface, but I think it's, it's very simple and it's free and it's definitely uh, very useful. So um, recommend it if you're teaching AP, you might wanna uh, introduce your students to this program, perhaps show them this video um, to show them how to download the program and how to use it. And um, if you're listening to this and if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, give it a share, um, visit our website, thetefelshow.com. We're also on Twitter, at The Tefl Show. And if you've listened to any of our podcasts, also uh, give them a like, give them a share, maybe leave a comment on iTunes. Thanks for a, lot, a lot for listening, everybody, and I'll talk to you in another video.